All right, so I get asked a lot about my turn signals whenever anybody sees them. And I made mine myself, and it was a learning curve. And I love how they turned out. My buddy's rocking a set of them on his Forerunner. So I'm going to show you how to make some yourself if you don't want to pay the $150 to $100 for somebody else to make some. All right, guys. So excuse the mess. Uh, I have not had time to clean the workbench off. And I am videoing on my GoPro, so the video and audio quality might not be the best. But here's what we have. These are the filler panels for the third generation 4Runner. This is the original one off my truck, and it's beat up, but I'm going to make some custom ones for a buddy of mine. Um, that way we'll have three third gens in the area with these. And it's super simple to make. I've marked out some lines. All you have to do is measure. It's roughly an inch and a half, so 0.75. Gives you a pretty good, pretty good area of half. And then it's in the middle, right at 10 and 10 and five eighths, or almost 10 and a half, a 10 and a quarter. So. What I do is I just do um, pretty easy. I do an inch in, inch in, and then two inches in between, or roughly. They don't have to be perfect. They're just turn signal lights. And I'll link down below, but I got my lights uh, on Amazon. I use these um, smoked amber ones, but he wants the regular amber, so I'm going to show you all how to do that. You're going to need a step bit. A regular bit and a metal punch it's pretty simple a metal punch you're just gonna line it up push it down some of them are hammer uh, to where you'll just hit it with a hammer mine is spring assisted so it makes it a little easier now my vice isn't the best for this but it does the job so I just have to move it a lot now, I don't have to move it for this but for support I do all right, so I've got I've got them punched, and then I'm gonna come in with. It doesn't matter the drill bit size, depending on what size uh, step bit you're using. My step bit goes all the way up to a full inch. These are three quarter inch, and um, you can get half inch, one inch, whatever size lights you want. But we're just gonna start by drilling a hole. And obviously some cutting uh, lubricant would help this process. These are getting painted afterwards to match his truck that's red. So I'm not worried about um, taping anything off. When I did mine, I bought I bought these. They, were, they used to be cheap until SRQ and a couple other people bought out all the stock. But they are grill, grill filler, right hand, and left hand. 96 to 02 Forerunner. Uh, they're made in Taiwan. Manufacturer. Here's all the numbers. I'll link these in the description if I can find them. Along with a link to the likes, lights and everything. Um, but pretty much all I'm going to do is drill a starter hole for the step bit. And what I was getting at on the other part was you could tape this, put all your lines, and it wouldn't have any uh, metal blowout on the paint. Well, it would help cut off any blowout on the paint, uh, which means, like, it wouldn't crack the paint or anything as easy. But these are getting painted and sanded afterwards, so it's not a big deal. And these are some more I have on my buddies when I did his. So I'm doing these for fun for my buddy, so I'm not going to charge him for these. These are just extra panels I had laying around and extra lights. So I'm not making it perfect. You might want to be a little bit more precise and go by millimeters or centimeters to get the measurements perfect.
All right, now that we have the pilot hole started, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the lights out. And these are LED. You don't have to get LED, but if you get LED, remember, you will have to get the LED relay. I will link that in the description as well. That simple change, all you do is remove the dash and change that out. Um, what I need is actually the grommet. So take your grommet and figure out what size is gonna fit best. So mine's all the way up here at the um, 5 8 actually. I thought it was, uh, these are, the grommet's 5 8 but the light is the uh, 3 quarters. You can see the outside of the light is 3 quarters. So I'm gonna move this over just a tad. Squeeze it in, fits nice and snug. Take your light, feed it through. Verify that it is a very nice snug fit. And I can actually squeeze this one just a little bit more. And you will want to deburr it because it will cut these grommets, but I'm honestly not too concerned with this set. So, yeah, that one cut the grommet, but. All right, so it's got a good fit. And you can add some glue to it or seal in if you want. Cut the grommet on that one. Doesn't matter, I've got plenty. Pretty much you do, because if you look, it, it bevels the edge a little bit. You can just take and squeeze this bad boy in there. Squeeze the light in there. And that is where one turn symbol's in. And we'll just do the process all the way down for all five. So here's what it looks like with all five grommets in. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the lights in. And I'll show you what it looks like. And that's with the all five in. They're not all twisted the same way. There's five turn signal lights, and you'll just splice all the wires together. It's pretty simple white on white, black on black, like a pigtail. Just combine them all together into two sets, and then you'll cut them even and put butt connectors on them. And if you want to tie into an existing light, you would and keep your turn signals that you already have, you just use like a, a splice connector like this, like a T connector. And you put the line in and connect that way. Or you'll just cut the turn signal wires and butt connect them onto there. But either way, you'll have these turn signals now. Uh, remember you will need the LED relay if you're gonna run these. Um, so you will have hyper flash if you don't change that. The relay's literally like 20 bucks, so it's not a huge expense. Thanks for watching guys, and as always, stay driven by your goals, and like this video, hit that subscribe button for notifications. If you have any other questions about my build uh, on my third gen, or the Jeep, or the Cadillac, definitely leave a comment below and I will try to make a video explaining anything.